The night is falling upon the upper town. As the sun sets, the century-old buildings fall asleep. One of them is the Museum of Natural History. Its exhibits from the animal kingdom await the morning in eerie silence. But it is only now that the museum courtyard comes alive. Amadeo, the festival of Zagreb summer evenings, has organized another event. It's Tsinkushi's turn. The band was formed 12 years ago. The name Tsinkushi is derived from an imaginary bell that follows man throughout his life. Their last album won the national award for the best ethno album of the year. The band has six members. Tima has been a member since the first day. He plays the bass and sings. The bass is a nice instrument. You can use it as a barbecue or sleep with it if you're single. It's also a good support in life. Marko Meštrovic plays the drums. Physically, the concerts are hard, but it's a rest for the mind. It's something hermetic, a world of its own. Mirko Rarosic plays acoustic guitar. His wife is the band manager. We care about the atmosphere. We want the people to enjoy themselves. It's not so much about musical virtuosity, but about energy. The rich Croatian folklore is the material for their evocative songs. They sing in a rural dialect used only on the hills around Zagreb. The Croatian answer to the pogues, as some call them, a great occasion to have a party with a local field. <laughs>